Yeah, looks like we are here and live. So welcome to the uh, Division One Grand Final here of uh, Rebellion 2017. We have NSR, the Northside Rollers A team, up against the VRDL B teams, the notorious VICs. Correction, that's actually the, oh. the C team. Oh, the C team? Yes, oh. notorious VICs. This is VICs, Sia Hurler yes. and that is the Sledge. We're joining you today on the mics. And we'll just do a quick read through of the rosters as soon as we can. Uh, as we soon have as we get them, yes. We, we are waiting on the uh, rosters to appear, I think. Um, just a heads up, um, Northside Rollers are the Death Stars. They're in green with black highlights. And, of course, Victoria Roller Derby's Notorious VRCs are blue with white highlights. And uh, we are pretty much just waiting on those refs to give the go-ahead to go. So... Uh, just a quick introduction to the uh, Victorian Derby's notorious VICs. We have Modern Warfare in 04 and 108, Annie Hagberg in 234, Ace Inhibitor in 925, Frankie 1407, Guillotina Bonaparte. And the game is on. We have the Northside Jammer Mads Pixie just being recycled back and just being tossed back and forth. And we have Delete Clip. We don't have a lead gem declared as of yet. No, I believe that was a uh, no pass. No pass on penalty. Yes. Oh, a big collision there by both jammers into the back of that pack. Um, it is uh, still struggling out the front there. And we have the lead jammer to Mad Pixie. And jam has been called. A uh, smart move there. The uh, no point. No, the no pass, no penalty there, um, allowing uh, VRDL to uh, pick up uh, five points against the lead there. Speaking of VRDL, we'll just pick up where we left off with yes, the, uh, the we list. Had, um, we have Guillotina Bonaparte, 1047, 27 Beowulf, 314 Golden Slay Time, 4711 Roxy Horror, 52 Gabby Love, 506 is Betty Doom, 669 Hellfire, 7 Amy Pasco, 8 A Genevieve Monk, 903 Sabatino. We'll get back to the ba benches as we roll on to number two, Fizz Jig from the offside, and Frankie from VRDL's BICs. We have an escape. We have Lee Jana, and it goes to Fizz Jig. Northside, uh, second at jam. Second uh, lead. Let's see if they can get some points on the board this time. And uh, Frankie makes it out the front of the pack for the initial pass as at number 5 2 Gabby Love heads onto the penalty box as the jam comes to an end. Um, VRDL will be starting with one blocker short. We just had one blocker make their way to the box. Um, we'll quickly go through the Death Stars from Northside Rollers. They are in green. They are the Duchess of Hazard, 0011, Suds Suspender, 119, Daywalker, 301, it is Fizz Jig, 3892, Catitude Problem, 47, Ms. Bree, 5, Sunny Onslaught, 52, Bella Bomber, 737s, the Macrobat, 76, Mad Pixie, 801, Acker Armoff, 88, Miss Ebola, and 883s. Venus Flyslap, and we have Venus on as Jammer for Northside and Ace Inhibitor for the Choice VICs, and it Venus! Is. Yes, Venus picking up lead jam as Ace Inhibitor goes to the penalty box. This has become a power jam for the Death Stars. The score has been notoriously moody, very slippery and also very sticky and at the same time there are two blockers only for the VICs with the third one joining the fray over at the back being contained. We're getting a full fold. Northside, Northside Jenna Venus is actually going to back and forth into the line, sneaking over to the inside, not quite getting there, almost breaking through. Just got one blocker, the captain, which is 903, which is Sabuccino. Just made it out. Oh no, a uh, knock to the outside of the track is going to uh, force Venus Thigh Strap all the slap sorry, to the back of the pack. We're just having the north side pivot just taking a seat in the penalty box. Meanwhile, Venus Thigh Slap making another pass. The idea Sky is ready to catch and enhance. Pushing over to the left and the right. Ace Inhibitor is out of that penalty box and making it through for the initial pass there. Ace has star cover in hand and is popping it back on and off and the jam is called. A nice call off there by Venus 
Oh, I slap. We're just going to give a heads up for Northside Rollers Death Stars. Their bench crew is Cinnamon Whip and Gingerbread Slam. And in for Victoria's Victorian Roller Derby's Notorious VRCs, we have Bonnie, Kitty and Crushy. And lining up now on the jammer line, we have Roxy Horror against number 5-2. Uh, Bella Bomber. Bomber. We have a 5-2 on both teams there. Ooh. So, uh... This is a, obviously uh, Gabby Love on the Notorious VICs, not jamming for the Death Stars there. It is Roxy Horror who has picked up the lead jammer status and then throwing that shoulder hard into the back of that Death Star pack, just trying to pick up a few more points. Meanwhile, Bella Bomber is still fighting to try and pick up that initial pass. Last line of defence there by 801. Acker Armov trying to contain that jammer. Not quite getting there. There's still points are still accrued for Roxy Horror. Yes, all five points there and a uh, no pass, no penalty awarded at the end, allowing Roxy to come on around for another scoring pass. Two blockers over on the track for north side. We have Akaramov and 8-0... What looks... 8 zero one. Thank you very much. That was Akaramov there. That was just very two, but there was another blocker that was her trying to help, help maintain that joker. Roxy calls it off. After another five-point Grand Slam there. A very strategic derby we've seen in these uh, couple of final games. The uh, Getting the points and calling it off just to uh, make sure that they just get that lead further and further ahead. The scanner I was referring to was actually a Kelly problem, 3892. There was a in there somewhere. Alrighty, we have 2-7 lining up is Beowulf, or Beowulf. We'll call her Wolfie for short, and 307 for an offside, which is... It was 3017. Miss G. It looked like a one from the single. Apologies for that. Oh, uh, it, ha it happens. Yeah. All of those uh, jerseys getting scrunched, scrunched up in the heat of the game as uh, Wolfie and uh, Fizzgig try to find holes in those walls and pick up that coveted lead jammer position. Wolfie with a bit of a fall there and trying to sneak around on the outside, but it is Fizzgig for the Death Stars picking up lead jammer. Braces formed over at the front of the pack and getting nearly infiltrated by 0-4 Modern Welfare trying to destroy the defence. A little bit of a hip slide, nearly quite, and Duchess of Hazard nearly taking out the jam and not quite getting there. A little bit of a hold back, the jam has been called. Wolfie trying to race around and pick up a few points there after making it through for the initial, but unfortunately not sneaking those hips past any of the Death Star skaters. So both refs holding up the donuts to end that one. Donuts meaning zero. We have Wordsmith, who is the jam ref currently for VR, VR DLC, and we have Malice, who is also jam refing for the NSR. So we have Mad Pixie, I see, and Roxy. That does look like Mac PC there. Yes, it is, Mad Pixie. That was a uh, nice move there by the Notorious VICs to try and collapse onto the jammer. Slick outside uh, exit there by Matt Pixie. Yes, completely unfazed by that uh, drawback. Skates around picking up that lead jammer position. Roxy Horror making it out as well for the initial pass. Containment over at the back there for Matt Pixie and some of the, not the VICs blockers trying to reassemble at the front. Then the decision made, jam called. Oh, and two points apiece there as uh, Daywalker from the Death Stars takes a seat in that penalty box. So the Death Stars will be starting this one with a blocker down as 108 Annie Hagberg uh, takes the star for the Notorious VICs up against number 5 2 Bella Bomber. We just need to make note that there's going to be some VIC skaters that'll be wearing other people's jerseys. So that is actually Annie Hagberg, not Trippy. Yes, I yes, believe uh, Golden Slayheim is also wearing uh, the jersey of uh, Pi Curious, who's uh, just uh, finished skating up over in the uh, Booker over Championship Games, uh, making it into the finals with the All Stars. At time of speaking, we've got a little bit of hustling around there. Bella trying to make it a little bit, trying to break apart the little two brace that's just over on the corner here. Keeping an eye on those toe stops and wheels as she is forced out to the outside of that. Track. And he has had the star cover removed, trying to decide whether or not to pop it on or just do a pass. Oh, it looks like the arm went out to try and reach the pivot there, but some nice defensive blocking by the Death Stars makes it unable to complete the pass. Genevieve Mong and Slabuccino trying to block it all the way. Mad Pixie, 
Bella Bowman decides to make a break for it at the back. And uh, making it through for the initial pass is Annie Hagberg for the Notorious VICs. But some great track awareness there from Bella Bomber calling off the jam. After picking up a nice five point grand slam, the Death Stars taking their lead just that little bit further ahead. And a timeout has been called. Uh, timeout going to the uh, Notorious VICs there. I guess uh, we will. Uh, Uh, thank our sponsors here for Running Rebellion this weekend. We had uh, Samurai AV responsible for all of the audio in-house. We had Skate Victoria, of course, keeping all of us insured and helping us to get back on our feet as soon as possible after any unfortunate injuries. This derby is full of those unfortunate injuries. Injuries being one of the uh, only full contact sports played on uh, such a hard and unforgiving surface. You got that right. We've also got JAE Production Services who are actually covering this game today, and this will be up. This footage will be uploaded in due time. We also like to give a shout out to all the officials and all the viewers at home right now. You, hopefully you're going to be strapped yourselves in for Derby next year. This is actually, if you're watching from overseas, this is the final tournament in the 2017 season. We usually have about two or three with the, sometimes the old fourth one, which is this Great Southern Slam. That is true. As the skaters line up to begin this next jam, we have Wolfie up against the Venus Thyslap. Bit of swaying on the beginning there trying to decide whether they're taking the inside or the outside and Venus Fly Slap fly takes slap. that. <laughs> Venus Fly Slap. Uh, Venus Fly Slap. Fly Slap. Even though I'm getting it wrong, it's Lee, it declared Lee Jammer. We have two, one blocker from each team has made a pit stop in the penalty box. We have Venus going a little pirouette and decides to call off the jam. A uh, nice strategic call off after picking up all four of those points there. I feel like I'm going to have to do a few uh, tongue twisters to get myself uh, ready to call uh, Venus thigh slap Venus next time she comes slap, on the track. Thigh slap. Venus for sure. I've, that actually happened a few times when I've been calling games. I actually called a lake wrong because I got confused with another team. South Island, Siren, South Seas, Roller Derby. I'm actually not a native of Victoria or Tasmania, so that was a little bit troublesome for me. I've still got my L plates on, mind you. Oh, well, you're doing a fantastic job here this weekend. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sledge. As right. we uh, get ready for this next jam, Ace Inhibitor with the Jammer star on the helmet. Uh, a, while both teams have a blocker sitting in that penalty box. So we'll be starting this one with a 3 plays 3. As uh, 3 one Fizzgig takes the Jammer star for the Death Stars. I wonder how many times I can stick star into a uh, sentence. With the Death Stars taking the Jammer Star for a star pass, maybe. Let's start a count. <laughs> All right, whistle blown. We are we are on. Banger gone. Lace and Hibbert tries to take the inside line. Not quite making it there. There's a sweep out over to the apex. Fizz gig, fizz jig, fizzy. We might call her from now on. It gets Lee Jammer status. Chased for, soaringly by Ace Inhibitor. The the brace is officially at the front of the pack for the VIC is trying to get a little bit massacred by Duchess of Hazard. The jam is called a hit and quit. Two points for the ha for the Death Stars and zero for the notorious VICs. Yes, the Death Stars wanting to maintain that current lead ahead of the notorious VICs. And just getting one point and calling it off, one point and calling it off will keep that lead mm -hmm. slowly increasing. I've got to say that the, these two teams have performed outstandingly and same with these two leagues. So Northside Rollers is the first time that they have hosted Rebellion and this is the first time that they, their A team and their B team have fielded um, first place games. A little bit of slipping action there for Mad Pixie, a little bit of trying to manoeuvre maneuver herself away from, around the inside. Meanwhile, so we've got Roxy Horror jamming for the Notorious VICs. It's starting to put the brakes on. 0-4, nearly caught. Nearly caught Mad Pixie. Not quite making a gem on welfare. It's a race on Roxy versus Mad Pixie. There's a little bit something there was like a track cut. It was a track cut issued for Roxy Horror. This means Mad Pixie has got 30 seconds to score all the points. Oh, a, a big shoulder from the Modern Warfare sends 
number 76, Mad Pixie, out into the sidelines and yielded all the way to the back. But Half Unfazed point. picks up another five point grand slam. A little bit of a smile and nod over there to the, 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 the assistants over on this track. Trying to assess the options here. There is one. One backing up on standby, trying to maintain the pack. Meanwhile, Roxy Horror re-enters the track, tries to make sure maintain impact status. And doing just that, uh, Mad Pixie picks up another five-point grand slam. Roxy Horror out of that penalty box now and making the initial pass. BIDL's Neutronics BIC is making a run for the front of the pack, trying to remain solid. A rush is beginning to board an offside rollers. The jam is called. Uh, with two points. Snuck in at the end there for the Death Stars, Mad Pixie. 12 to 0. We've got 41 for the Northside Rollers for the Rebel Alliance and the 20s VRCs from VIDL are uh, 17 points. And we're running about 17, just over 17 minutes remaining. And we have Wolfie up against Bella Bomber. Bella Bomber. Had to do a little bit of a singing there just to warm up my lungs and my, all the other bits and pieces of my body. Here we go. And an explosion off that jamming line as Wolfie attacks that Death Stars pack. But it is the one, the only Bella Bomber picking up the coveted lead jammer position. Hellfire making an attempt to try and ambush Bella Bomber but didn't quite make it there. The tripod at the front trying to contain but Wolfie. A little bit of a jump over there, a little pirouette on that straight gives her the propulsion needed to make a run for it oh. Bella goes on the inside decides to call off the jam a nice little hop over that notorious VIC leg as well to pick up those four points we have uh, 108 the uh, Annie Hagberg in Trippie's clothing <laughs> and Annie in Trippie's clothing and joining her is Venus Thigh Slap Venus for short. Say it three times fast. Venus plus lap, Venus plus lap, Venus plus lap. Don't think I got that one. All right, there's a rollback. We have a rollback. And they're off. And Venus is trying to find a way around and does just that, picking up the lead. Jamma from a nice inside pass. Meanwhile, Annie is trying to fight through that impenetrable Death Star's wall. Amy Pascoe has rejoined the fray. She, now Victoria has the IDLC has now got a full pack, a full pack of blockers. Meanwhile, another one takes a seat over from north side. A and a tap of the hips means this jam comes to an end. Four points there to the Death Stars. So the notorious VRCs will be starting with four blockers. Meanwhile, Akarano is just calling her, her booty over in the penalty box. So there'll be three to four blockers. Fizz gig lining up now against Roxy Horror. As we get ready to kick things off, we will have our five seconds. Uh, both teams, yeah, rolling down a little bit, taking away some of that space. But exploding up that straight away are both jammers and just fighting hard, trying to get through and pick up that coveted lead jam. Another a nice pirouette and jump there, and it is Roxy Horror picking up the L. Has that wordsmith pointing at Roxy, going, You're special. You get to be special for this jam. But the, the two minutes or less, you are special. You get lead jam status, you get points as well. Going swimming onto the inside and in the outside, Roxy makes her escape. Meanwhile, all the blockers trying to set themselves up and do the thing. It is notoriously slippy here as, as the blockers trying to do their thing. We've got one more blocker over at the front. There is a star pass in place to 0 0. Duchess of Hazard now has a star on her head, but the jam is called off before any damage can be done by the Duchess. Yes, a uh, good bit of uh, track awareness there. Track awareness, not awareness. Track awareness from uh, Roxy Horror there. Uh, um, paying attention to when that star pass happened and the pivot getting out the front, becoming the jammer. Timeout called. And that is another timeout to the notorious VICs, I believe. If I I'm reading hand signals correct. We see a dot flashing, so it's safe to, safe to say the ideals. C team is calling it. So they will be taking a minute to have a bit of a chat, work out their strategy, what they're doing, 
maybe uh, maybe the bench coach has uh, seen a, a little bit of a weakness in that uh, mm. in that Death Star. They're mm. getting over there to, to have their little meeting, inform inform their Luke Skywalkers of the uh, the little holes in the Death Star wall <laughs> to try and destroy it. have had a fantastic weekend of roller derby here at Rebellion. We want to thank the Northside Rollers who um, have their H team on the track right now uh, for hosting this fantastic event. Um, their B team also uh, taking out the win. In, Division uh, 2 win two. against um, Westside Derby Dolls is the Westside Glory. It was actually one of those games that's which is which will be consistently seen as that the score did not reflect the effort. The effort was was solid. There was a lot of a lot of fierce competitiveness, and I, I'm, I actually see quite good things coming from both both leagues and leading into the 2018 travel season. As we set up for the next jam, we have uh, Wolfie up against Mad Pixie. Oh, yes. Mad Pixie just jumping, jumping around all of those blockers and picking up lead jammer. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wolfie also gets on out that front, picking up the initial pass. The pack pace. Of the pay pace is stopping and starting initially. But it seems like to be an efficient strategy for show you to counteract the Mad Pixie speed. Not quite, there's a little pirouette there. Oh, and the jam is called as Mad Pixie comes crashing down to the floor. A uh, four points, were, all four were awarded for that pass, uh, helping to get the uh, Death Stars up to that 53 crack in the half century. Northside Rollers A team on 53 points to VRDL C, C team on 26 points. We have Roxy Horror lining up as Jammer. Up against Bella Bomber. Bella Bomber. 5 2 seems to be a very common number in most derby leagues. All right, shuffling around, Bella Bomber going back and forth. There is a, there's a single, almost a split in the pack here. We've got uh, one drummer, blocker coming back and two blocker coming back. Meanwhile, Bella Bomber has received lead Jammer status. A little bit of a side block there, trying to bump off Roxy Horror from gaining ground. She's fed back, same with Ro with Bella Bomber. Yes, Roxy Horror also able to uh, force a penalty on uh, one of the Death Star's blockers. So they are down to three now. Shuffling around from on the top of the apex. Roxy trying to make a hit and also Hellfire to, trying to give a little bit of assistance. Also Duchess of Hazard not making it easy for the for them. Tripod at the front of the pack. Yes, some nice defense by both teams there. Cybercino, last line of defense from Torres VIC is trying to make it a little bit harder. We're joined, being joined by Modern Warfare and Hellfire. Yes, some fantastic teamwork there. Uh, but up the back, Roxy Horror. Looking for a little bit of assistance on the outside there from the other notorious at VIC blockers. Roxy Horror still struggling against the backs of number 47, Miss Re and uh, Ms. Re and at 737 uh, Smackrobat. Hellfire tries to recycle efficiently, re recycles back the Northside Jammer, Bella Bomber, along with the help of Gabby Love, 5 2 for the notorious VICs. There's Roxy Horror decides to make her way around and there's a track cut penalty issued to Roxy Horror leading to a momentary power jam for this jam and the jam is called off. I believe we have a couple of skaters taking a seat in that penalty box. Roxy Horror, the jammer for the Notorious VICs, is uh, taking a seat along with, I believe that is uh, Smackrobat, one of the blockers from the Death Stars. But the uh, Notorious VICs have uh, taken a uh, official review and uh, we have our roving reporter Ninja heading on in to uh, find out what is happening. So the next voice you hear will be Ninja. So Ninja just in the middle there, finding out what's going to happen and then we'll take over our commentary to keep you all informed. So, oh, you can hear me in-house as well. How exciting the technology works. All right, so that's an official review. VRDL are requesting a review of the penalty that was applied to their jammer. It was a cut track penalty applied. Uh, and they're saying that 
an OPR had indicated no pass, no penalty, rather than actual cut. I think that's more or less what has happened. I'll be back with you soon. Well, we'll check up on that potential track cut or no pass, no penalty in a second. Um, meanwhile, we want to just give a big shout out to all of our refs and NSOs for helping to make Derby possible here this weekend. We've had a few that have travelled from Tasmania, from Queensland, from South Australia. I, I would have to li like to check if there's any that have come from Western Australia or Northern Territory, but I can safely say that there have been many leagues as well that have travelled the, all the corners. The to penalty to will stand, the official Ooh. review is lost. Roxy will hang out in the box a little longer. There we go, Power Jam start for Northside Rollers Death Stars. Thank you very much for that update there, Ninja, and apologies for talking over you. Ah, uh, Ninja, uh, one of the uh, hazards of being the roving reporter is not having those uh, headphones to keep in touch with what is going on. Um, so we have to just keep an eye on what Ninja's doing. Yep, we're trying not to get distracted, especially by Venus Slap, who is now jamming for an offside role as Death Stars. We're doing a bit of the Snake Charmer dance on the uh, jammer line, trying to lull those notorious VICs into a false sense of security. Might have done just that, picking up the lead jammer status. Everyone's setting up close to the second turn, second to the third turn. V Notorious VRC is on the on the top of the apex now, moving forward quick as a flash. The brace led by Slappuccino, captain for the Notorious VICs. Meanwhile, Gabby Love is there, and along with Modern Warfare, trying to hustle things up. Roxy Horror is back on the track with the star cover in her hand. It's a matter of time whether or not it'll be a pass or a stash. All the rocking and rolling, Roxy is now at the front of the pack. Meanwhile, we do have the pivot for North Star, North, North Side, pardon me, about trying to make do some offense. And she's swallowed. Oh. Venus is, sli is swallowed back by Slappuccino. Forcing the recycle there, and Roxy Horror now out the front for the initial pass there. Let's see if Roxy can put a few more points on the board. But no, Venus Thigh Slap, very aware of what's happening on that track and calling off the jam, picking up three more points for uh, the uh, Death Stars there. And uh, lining up now on the uh, jammer line, we have once again Wolfie taking on Fizzgig. Let's see what they can do with that five second call. We will start. And there's the whistle, uh, nicely leaving that inside line open for Fizzgig, allowing the jammer to take on that, that blocking wall and try and find holes. Doing just that, Fizzgig kicks up the coveted lead jammer, while Wolfie is not to the outside, but with uh, Duchess of Hazard being sent out as well, Wolfie can just take off down that straightaway and try to pick up some points now. The Torres VRCs are down in one blocker. Slappuccino now sitting in the box also is pivot. The jam has been called with points collected. Is it hitting quick scenario? A lot of awesome noise in the background in support and love. There is a lot of Northside supporters here. Yes, of course, the, uh, the home team hosting this uh, wonderful rebellion at Derby Indeed. tournament here. Um, oh, we have a little bit of a uh, score check there. 69 <laughs> plays at 26. Do you know what my favourite number is? Is it 69? It's 26. Oh, really? Meanwhile, we've got Ace Inhibitor jamming for the VICs along with Mad Pixie. And Mad Pixie Mad going Pixie. through. <laughs> Just a little cover from that double entendre there while Mad Pixie tries to make a return. Slappuccino nearly giving her a little bit of hot sauce on that little bit pass. Just a little bit of slide through and then trying to make her way back, trying to make it make a safe passage, being slide, slide back by Gabby Love. Over, meanwhile, over at the front... Oh, some fancy toe stop work there by Ace Inhibitor getting out at the front and picking up that initial pass. Mad Pixie. Let's see if Mad Pixie has that track awareness that has been shown all game. And yes, managing to call that off before uh, the jammer was able to pick up any points. I've lost sight of the jammer. It's such a quick change, I forget who it was. It was Ace, Ace inhibitor. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Northside will be down one blocker as 
Day Walker is staying is having a seat in the penalty box. So it will be a three to four blocker setup. Jam away, Bella Bomber, Northside Rollers, and Roxy Horror. Uh, Bella Bomber there coming around for a scoring pass, trying to pick up a few more points there for the North Sydney Rollers and calling off the jam there, picking up two points. And we're back. And am I back? Yes, we're back. We're just doing a little bit of a mic check there. Meanwhile, we have Wolfie up for jabbing for the notorious VICs, and who has been declared lead. Meanwhile, we do have a star pass in process, being a sly slap. And we have a we waiting do. to get that uh, jammer star on the helmet to replace that pivot stripe. Wolfie taking it on and back and off and on again. Oh, both jammers fighting hard to try and get through uh, the pack here and Wolfie skates on through lead jammer and a five point grand slam. That is what the Notorious VICs need right now. Kettitude Problem has possession of the star. She is the pivot but has also got the star cover in her hand. Meanwhile she is being braced back by Hellfire and number 5-2 which is Gabby Love. But the Notorious VIC she has broken out and is now able to put the panty on or car help cover as she pleases and did she does. Meanwhile Wolfie decides to call off the jam. A uh, smart tactical call off there. Um, obviously not wanting the Dead Stars to put any more points on the board. Um, but the Notorious VICs, a nice nine point jam there to try and whittle down the lead with uh, about four minutes, four and a half minutes left on the uh, period clock. Alrighty then, we've got 108 Annie Hackberg making her return as jammer and alongside we have Fizjik. Oh, Fizjik out the front. Annie Hagberg at the back, both trying to find a way through, but it is Fizgig with that L, the special pointing fingers of, is that Malice? Is that yes, me? that's Malice giving the big L like hole for Lee Jam. And meanwhile, Annie's over at the front getting blocked like a boss by Duchess of Hazard and many other Northside roller blockers. Oh, Fizgig just barreling through that wall and picking up a five point grand slam. Annie Hagberg with the uh, Jammer star in the hand trying to prepare either the star pass to Slavicino or a bit of a fake out. And it is a star pass. Slavicino now becoming the jammer for the Notorious VICs. A little bit of offense given by some of the Northside blockers. The jam is called. Uh, some nice tactical work there from Fizgig pulling off the jam after a, another nine point unanswered jam. They, they're becoming quite popular at the moment, those mm. nine point unanswered jams. Yeah, you got that right. Okay, oh, oh. Whoops, someone forgot something. It's always important to make sure that you've got all the things to do, all the jobs, including your armbands and helmet covers and all this. And a uh, rapid, quick call off. Uh, timeout called it there. Um, I think the uh, Notorious VICs wanting to make sure they were all ready after that one. Bit of confusion with the uh, helmet cover falling onto the track. This is actually um, Victoria, the Notorious VICs last time out. They've lost their official review by the looks of it. And also their, looks like their last time out is accrued. Meanwhile, Northside Rollers have still got all of their timeouts plus an official review up their sleeve. Wow, that's going to definitely change a few things. 
As mentioned earlier by the sledge, um, at time of recording, um, um, the Victorian Roller Derby League's All-Stars were over in Philadelphia for the WFTDA Championships. It is confirmed they are playing for the Hydra, which is the WFTDA Championship Trophy. It is the first time that A, a league outside of a, a United States soil have actually made, reached the finals, and also the first time that Coughlin Girls Roller Derby have not made it to the Hydra game in six years. Yes, it's a... Uh, it's a milestone. Yeah, it's a big championship of... Uh, of uh, records and yep. uh, milestone breaking achievements. The VIDL hoping to bring it, the, uh, the trophy Hydra down uh, to the Southern Hemisphere. So we're going to. Where most, most sporting trophies belong in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, Probably. In the, who knows, there might be a, gold, a silver roller skate joining a golden thong, which is the TGSS Great Southern Slam trophy. Meanwhile, we have Mad Pixie jamming and the declared lead jammer for Northside Rollers. Meanwhile, we have Roxy Horror back and towards the crown in the front of the pack, but with the jet star off of her helmet, trying to tear away it around as usual, but just make, recycling to the back just to make sure that there was no track cutting approved. Matt Pixie out for another scoring pass. Five points for her. As modern the uh, pivot, Modern Warfare from the Notorious VICs is sent to the penalty box. Roxy Horror no longer having the opportunity for a star pass, and he's just going to have to knuckle down and barrel through thank you for the correction very there. hard wall oh oh the hustling going on here there's a little bit over on the apex here a Roxy. bit of a smile to the crowd from mad pixie as jammer takes on those notorious vic blockers running into the back of a slappuccino and a nice pirouette on the one foot there sees a five point grand slam pass to Mad Pixie, 15 unanswered points so far, one away from the triple digit 100. And Mad Pixie goes to engage and passes all five for another five point Grand Slam. 20 unanswered points in that jam. And of course, taking them into that triple digit. 104 plays 35. And this is about 100, one minute and 20 seconds left in this half. Which means this will most likely be our final jam for the period. Uh, Bella Bomber lining up against Wolfie. There is one Victorian VIDLC skater in the box as we speak. And they're off. Bella Bomber trying to take on that tripod at the front. While... Oh, but it is... Yes, it is Wolfie. It's Wolfie. It is Wolfie breaking out through uh, that... Death Star's wall trying to pick up a few more points in this final jam. Bella Bomber just managed to get past Gabby Love, just trying to make it break out of that pack. Now it's just the scoring pass here for Wolfie. Straight over to the inside of the of the other straight to try and go it out. She calls it off. Oh, calls it off and two points picked up there for uh, Wolfie while Death Star's unable to sneak anything in for that last pass and I believe with 15 seconds, seconds on and the game clock just mind you jam clock supersedes the game clock if there's clock if there's uh, time on the jam clock there's another jam could that be right be nope no intermission time there was one second off and it looked like the uh, halftime buzzer beat out the new jam clock so we will be back in 15 minutes for uh, the second half of this Division One Grand Final, the North Side Rollers 18, the Death Stars takes on the Victorian Roller Derby League's notorious VICs. I'm the Sledge. I'm Sia Hurler. We'll be back right, right at you very soon. Welcome back. Yes, we have uh, just over a minute left before we begin the second period here of the Division 1 Grand Final, the Northside Rollers 18 Death Stars against the Victorian Roller Derby League's Notorious VIC. That is the sledge. I'm Hurler. We are your announcers for this half as well. And before we begin, uh, finish this intermission, we'd just like to give a shout out to all the officials the, and the referees who are skating today in this match. We have Leaf, Donna Kebab, Bullseye, Craig, Little Miss Savage, a lot of Amazon, Disaster Chief, Tashula Rasa, Grenade O'Connor, Roger Jamjet, Alyssa Finlayson, Malice, Wordsmith, Frank and Herder, Scouts Honor, and Goddards. 
thank you very much for coming around and volunteering your time and officiating all the derby here at Rebellion 2017. Yes, they are just a few of our fantastic rostered on uh, refs and uh, NSOs. We want to make sure that we thank each and every one of you for helping to make sure that Rebellion has run as smoothly as it has all weekend. Indeed, there has been a theme this year. Last year, uh, from what I was told, it was a Star Wars themed. This year is actually a, a, a female or female empowering orientated theme. Each team had, each had, and so crew had their own, own ambassador. The comics have one too, but we'll tell you about that later. We're about to have a game on. We have, we have Roxy Horror jamming and Meg Pixie jamming for both sides. And Roxy Horror trying to find those holes in that Death Star wall and does just that, picking up Lead Jammer for the VICs. This is how they need to be starting this next half, picking up as many points as possible to whittle down that almost 70-point uh, lead there that the Death Stars have. Flying around that corner, Mad Pixie trying to pick up a few points and does not succeed on that one. Both jam refs holding up the donuts there. Donuts spinning zero points on either side. Yes. We now have 3-0-1 Fizzgig lining up against a Wolfie. And uh, we have just five seconds left before this next jam commences. The VSCs will be down one blocker as one is sitting in the box. Full contingent of Northside skaters trying to infiltrate the jammer and offensive defense. Slavacino just uh, knocked to the outside there and taking a second to assess what was going to happen before getting back onto those wheels. Wolfie has been awarded lead jammer status. And uh, not to be outdone with jammer star in hand. Fizz Giga. Makes the initial pass. Wolfie picking up four points there. And listening to the bench there. And deciding to keep it going. Oh, right in front of us, we lost Fizzgig into the out of bounds area. There was a no pass, no penalty um, signal issued, so therefore the, she, the Gemma continue on with their journey. However, there is one blocker joining the, joining the penalty box. So there will be a two blockers from the Northside Rollers on the, on the track in the next jam. Yes, four plays two. The uh, Victorian jammers are going to want to take full advantage of that. And they are sending on Ace Inhibitor to try and pick up a few more points up against Venus Thyslap. Say that four times instead of three. <laughs> Venus thigh slap. Venus thigh slap. Venus thigh slap. Venus thigh slap. Congratulations. Hey, Yay. I feel good. As Away Ace we go. takes off on that whistle. Venus thigh slap trying to break through the notorious VIC tripod as Ace Inhibitor up the front beats that final blocker to pick up the lead jammer status. Ventures just telling Ace to keep it going, keep it going as we get one more Death Star blocker out of that penalty box. We also see Venus Thigh Slap make that initial pass. Ace picking up another four points there as our final Death Star's blocker rejoins the track and we are back to a four on four competition. Venus, Venus Thigh Slap, slap. Up the front there, battling against uh, the pivot Slappuccino, while Ace Inhibitor at the back here uh, trying to fight past those last blockers, but sent to the ground on the inside. And Ace has to do it all again. We do have a pivot and we do from the VICs, and we do have a north side blocker in the box. Momentarily, the, the pack has been pushed all the way back. Yes, an unfortunate loss of balance there from uh, Venus Thyslap. Saw the uh, yield and recycle all the way to the uh, beginning of that straightaway. Um, and considering that Venus was coming out of that uh, track turn, that's a, that's a very, very upsetting recycle. One VRC's blocker has returned to the track, but in exchange, another blocker has been taken her place into the penalty box. We now have a four blocker advantage for the notorious, for the north side rollers. As, as Ace Inhibitor heads to the penalty box, so all three 
Uh, Notorious VIC seat, seats are taken in that penalty box. Therefore, we have a power jam for Venus Fire Slap. Uh, nice bit of uh, speeding up the pack there from uh, Slappuccino and, and uh, Amy numbers. Pasco. Yes, but uh, unfazed Venus Thigh Slap picks up five points. Jam cold. We're going to have we're going to have a power star. Yes, Power Jam start. Ace and Hibbert are still seated in that penalty box. And we have two blockers standing in the notorious from the notorious VIC. So there'll be two blockers on the track from the VICs. With a, with a three are from the Northside Rollers Death Stars. Bella Bomber wanting to take full advantage of this fact and pick up that lead at Jammer status before those blockers can rejoin the, the track. Time will tell if it's no rollback for the Northside Rollers Jammers, but there was there's a little bit of offense given, but it's going to be pretty easy there with a little bit of a gallop. Bella Bomber is out for Lee Jammer status, followed closely by some of the blockers being released from the box. Ace inhibitor also poised and ready to strike, coming flying out of that penalty box around that apex and Without. just trying to chase it down. Ace Inhibitor does not have her star on her helmet. Her cover is in her hand, therefore no, no chance for poise just as yet. Meanwhile, Bella Bomber is going inside and outside. Oh, and that is a penalty to uh, one of the notorious VIC blockers. Five, as two, Bella it's Bomber Gabby Love. 52. That would be... Two points, what are we talking about? 52 <laughs> picks up five points. <laughs> and 5-2 from the Notorious VIC's ba Gabby Love has taken a seat into the box as well as Bella Bomber, as as so mentioned by Sledge, does laps around the track. Meanwhile, Ace Inhibitor still has the cover in hand. There is no star pass given to Modern Warfare, the pivot. She is still going. That means Ace has now achieved that initial pass and Bella Bomber picking up a few more points, trying to fight past the pivot there, but calls off the jam uh, with uh, four points. Awarded Ace, unable to attack the back and pick up anything. So the VRDL, notorious VICs, uh, remain scoreless in that one, while 13 points scored to Bella Bomber. Alrighty, we've got North Side Rollers Death Stars on 130 points to VRDL C team and Notorious VICs on 55 points. But Roxy Horror lining up as Jammer with Mad Pixie at least 10 feet, in, 5 or 10 feet in front. There's going to be a run up for both sides. Oh, Roxy charging into the back of that wall and then it did not collapse. She, uh, it was uh, Roxy who went crashing to the ground. Mad Pixie rewarded Lee Jammer's status for sliding around on, on the outside, on the inside. Safe passage on the inside given by her blockers. Just needs two more. Amy Pasco to go through the hips and she gets those points. Five points for, for Mad Pixie. As followed closely by Modern Warfare. Warfare. That is a star pass. Pivot becoming Jammer. Jammer becoming Blocker. It's the circle of derby life. Circle of derby life, the two become one. Matt Pixie calls off the jam. Cybercino a little bit, landing a little bit on Amy, on um, Matt Pixie. But everything seems to be all good. And uh, that was a uh, five point, no, eight point jam there before the Death Stars. Just making that lead further and further ahead of the notorious VICs. This time last year, Victorian Roller Derby League fielded their Queen Bees, and they actually succeeded in making it to the Derby One Grand Final. A nice apex time, jump there from uh, Fizzer Gig sees uh, the Dead Stars get that lead jammer status. And Wolfie, not wanting to be outdone, skates on through as well pick up the initial pass. Fiskick is now approaching the pack. There's some offense from Duchess of Hazard to give her a, to give her a little easy points. Meanwhile, she has caught, Fiskick has called off the jam and has accrued. All four of those points did manage to swing the hips around past all four of the Notorious VIC blockers before that jam came to a conclusion. We now have 142 points to Northside Rollers, Death Stars and VRDL C Team, the Notorious VICs on 55 points, just over 20 minutes remaining in the second half. Five seconds called, we have Venus Fire Slap. And uh, timeout is called. Yes, uh, yeah, smart call there, as I do not believe the Notorious VICs have a, uh, a, a, a jammer on the track, but... No, that was an official. That was an official, time. actually. Official VRDL, VRDL does, does not have any other timeouts remaining. Um, it seems that uh, 
a penalty was awarded to uh, Slapacino. Take your um, seat there in the box. Do we have a pajama fielded? We have yes, Wolfie. Wolf, Wolfie up against the Venus in the thigh slap. Uh, the notorious VIC starting with the blocker down. Roger Breath, here we go. But Wolfie going on the outside, slightly being contained there by 801. Aka arm off. Yes, Zach Armoff, I'm, that is Chris Ten corrected. Wolfie uh, doing a, a little bit of a toe top spin. Out she goes, she's declared Lee Gemma. Followed, and the Northside Gemma Venus Fire Slab is recycled to the back. She has uh, issued a cut, cut track cut, penalty. Which makes this a power jam for the Taurus VICs. Wolfie is going to want to take advantage of this and try and put a few more points on the board. Wow, I heard a toe stop squeal from across the room there. There is an offside blocker stuck at the back of the of a, a VIC's wall that could potentially make a split pack scenario. Time to play it safe. Let's a nice step over the uh, leg of one of the notorious VIC blockers there, allowing Wolfie to now attack, attack that tripod at the front and picking up a five point grand slam for the notorious VICs. 10 unanswered points. Green 1 1, Sus Suspender rejoins her buddies over at the top of the pack. Meanwhile, there is a pivot, blue pivot, trying to make mess things up for the defense. Venus Thigh Slap is also out of that penalty box and uh, re engaging with the notorious VIC wall, trying to pick up some points. Or is this a fight for the initial pass? Yes, that was a fight for the initial pass there. So Wolfie picking up another five point grand slam there. And uh, dodging a nice little shoulder there from the pivot. Oh, that was a big collision there. Venus thigh slap just colliding with the shoulder of that notorious VIC blocker. I will uh, grab that number and name in a second, but that has got to hurt. Beowulf just stuck behind with two of her two opposition opposing blockers. Venus Thigh Slap has now taken that panty off the helmet and, and is trying to fight through, but the jab comes to an end. Uh, is that two? Uh, four? I believe that is three points awarded to the Death Stars there, and two points snuck in to the uh, the RDL Notori Vic Notorious BICs. Notorious BIG pun right there, just for those playing at home. We do have Annie Heckberg now making her star debut for this half, and there is a timeout. Uh, official timeout yes. has been called just as that whistle was about to blow. So, uh, just uh, over 19 minutes remaining. Yes, uh, Bella Bomber not very happy about that call off. All like, poised and ready to strike. It's just like, oh, geez, I was ready for this. <laughs> and we do have indication that we are ready to go for this jam number seven of this half. Let's go give it a second time around and see if Bella Bomber can uh, still keep up the momentum built up in that first millisecond <laughs> of, the, uh, of the jam. And, and it is Bella Bomber picking up that lead jammer status. Uh, uh, Annie Hagberg still being caught up in that Death Star's wall. Duchess of Hazard trying bumping off the bumping off Annie to try and slow her down. Not quite making it. A lot of Northside blockers are utilizing the front. Bit. Meanwhile, Bella Bomber checking back, doing a backwards skate just to check everything's okay. Meanwhile, making an escape for it. Is uh, a five point Grand Slam pass there from uh, 50 to Bella Bomber. Um, sitting in the box right now, we have uh, Hellfire from the Notorious VICs, as well as both teams' pivots. Um, so, both. Oh. oh, a big collision there. Number four, seven from the Death Star's Misery. Uh, throwing the hip in. It could be a late call. Let, is, uh, let us see if any of the refs or uh, the bench decide to pull that one up. That almost looked, from, from this angle, we're actually just over on the eight, the second, we're on turn three where the accommodation commie desk is. It almost looked like there was like a toe stop spin or like a straight jump. Right now we have, looks like Mad Pixie up for Northside Rollers and Roxy Horror for the Notorious VICs. Obviously. Sandwiching that, herself in between the Northside Blockers, but Mad Pixie is declared lead jammer. Yes, obviously that uh, block was not considered a uh, um, after the whistle as a uh, all uh, teams were able to field the correct players, the uh, 
Toros VIC pivot now out of that penalty box. Slabuccino giving a little bit of a hip there, hip, hip hit for the Mad Pixie. She just, Pixie decides to call it off. Apologies for the talk over there. It was just starting to get a little bit carried away with all this action. No, oh. There is so much excitement happening on that derby track. We hopefully, hopefully we can keep you guys as informed as possible and we're not missing too much. But uh, as Ace Inhibitor and uh, Fizzgig line up on that jammer line, all ready and raring to go. He says jig, I say gig. It's still the same. We'll double, double check later on after the game. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so I, I guess it, it, it could. It's, it is gig. All right, um, we'll call it I, gig for now. I'm going to give. I'm going to give <laughs> you that one. I uh, I have been. Uh, I guess it's that whole conversation of uh, gif versus jif. Oh yeah. How, you, how you pronounce it, but we'll, we'll still we'll stick with fizz gig for now. Yeah, fizz gig for now. Ace inhibitor has made it out of the pack. Meanwhile, we have fizz gig. Well, fizz gig, jig, fizz gig has been approaching now. The defense and the. J and, jam has uh, been called. Yes, that jam has been called, but I believe all four points were still picked up by Fizzgig there. There's a little bit of hesitation there, wondering whether or not that the jammer was lead, but it all, it all has come out of the wash in the end. All right, do we we have Wolfie on the pack for on the track for BICs? Up against Venus Thigh Slap for the Death Stars. We have about 15 minutes left of this period. A little bit of sway swagger going on there by Venus. I think that's becoming a bit of a common trait for uh, Venus. Every time uh, that jammer is lined up on the bench, uh, on the bench, on the, the jammer line, line. You're we, you're we get to get that. Sway you into sway you into the movie. It gives a little bit, a bit of nervous energy and also gives you the power to prowl on forward as it happens for Venus. She gets Lee Jammer's status. Meanwhile, the hustling begins. Oh no, a tactical call off. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, Venus Thigh Slap realizing that Wolfie was hot on the tails and decided, ah, uh, let's 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 give a little bit of a break and we'll uh, we'll retry this a bit we'll later on. We'll just push the reset button and start again. There's been a few time instances where there's been a stop start, a gear change in pack speed and it's usually pretty notorious over on turn 3 where we are now and Roxy Horror and Number 5 2 Bella Bomber make their return as jammers for both their respective teams. Roxy both, goes on the inside. Both to, uh, both jammers are showing a lot of speed up that straight away, trying to crack holes in the defense of either team. But it is picking up that lead is Bella Bomber. Uh, Number 5 2 for um, BIC is Gabby Love trying to. In trying to get an access denied we do have a north side roller skater going into the box number five with sunny onslaught we'll check with the penalty later meanwhile we do have roxy with the cover off her helmet running she is into the uh, shoulder of the uh, pivot there duchess of hazard who is um, making her way to the box yes roxy with just one to beat and does just that making that an initial pass uh, Bella Bomber deciding to call it off there, uh, picking up a five-point grand slam there um, before the GM came to an end. Uh, Notorious VICs were uh, un unable to score any points in that one. Oh, uh, jammer love. Yes, a uh, bit of a jammer love on the jam start line. Uh, Annie Hagberg uh, showing a nice, friendly hug to Mad Pixie before they decide to completely throw their bodies into each other and crush their spirits. Crush the jam. souls. Of, it just depends on who gets Lee Gemma first. Matt Pixie recycled to the back by some of the defense. Oh, and it, the is the, it is the notorious VICs. Annie Hagbo picking up the lead Gemma status. Let's see if Annie can put a few more points on the board for the notorious VICs. Meanwhile, Matt Pixie tiptoes around. Luckily, she stays in bounds and she has escaped and is trying to make her initial pass. Meanwhile, her buddies are at the front of trying to spin Annie off and Annie decides to call off the jam. Not before, and me and Matt Pixie mixed up and is like, did I make it? Did I score any points? No. What, did she? Mad she Pixie did pick up one. Did pick up one there. Yeah. One sneaky point. One sneaky point. Um, as I was just saying earlier, that um, VRDL did field their B team last year and successfully won Division 1 of the Rebellion last year held in Ballarat. And they were all facing up against um, um, Adelaide Roller Derby. I hazard a guess it was the A team for ADRD, but I'll just have to double check. Meanwhile, we have Wolfie. Up against uh, Fizz Giga. 
And it is Fizzgig with that lead at Gem status, trying to put a few more points on the board and stretch out that lead even further. Meanwhile, Wolfie out the front, just trying to battle around those west side blockers, but unfortunately is forced to yield and recycle and try it again. And meanwhile, Fizzgig is picking up another five point Grand Slam there for the Death Stars as Wolfie steps around on those toe stops to make that initial pass. The defense roll out from the BICs is rolling back just to trying to contain the jammer. Fizzjig not quite making it. Jam call just in time. There are three points awarded by the jam ref of the Northside Rollers, which is Wordsmith. Sunny onslaught there in number five, offering a nice little bit of assistance to uh, help the jammer get through and pick up an extra one of those points. Oh, yes. Would have been two without that wonderful help from the blockers. Alrighty, five seconds declared, and Roxy Horror is do I call a doing a Sandrine Ranjon going halfway to the apex, measuring up what her options are. About to do a run up, and away she goes, followed closely by Venus Slice Slap. It pays off for Roxy Horror. Roxy gets lead jammer status, followed closely by Venus Slice Slap. Roxy seems to be getting a bigger and bigger run up every time the jammer oh, appears you got, on that helmet. It stretches along just like blue tack when you just take take it off the strip. Roxy goes back to the outside into the inn hustling around trying to find that gap she encounters a, a tripod wall of north of green pushing trying to push her way around and um, we've got a blocker Gabby Love trying to give her offense not quite making it through Roxy decides to call off the jam a smart move there Notorious VIC is uh, picking up two points um, oh and a sneaky one was also given um, to, uh, uh, I've, I've missed which jammer that was. They change over so quickly. I was about to say it was Bella Bomber, but no, Bella Bomber is lining up now for this jam. It was Fish Geek, I think it was on the last Fizz one. Fizz Geek. Fizz Geek. Geek. Haha, now we swap. <laughs> We've started making time. It's Kobe fails. Oh, it is a uh, Bella Bomber up against Ace Inhibitor for this next jam. Ace Inhibitor knocked the inside by the pivot, Duchess of Hazard. While up the front, uh, Bella Bomber is trying hard to find those holes, but not to the outside and recycled back, 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 all the way back. Ace as Inhibitor has accrued lead jammer status now. It's only a matter of time before the before um, Bella Bomber makes her move, but instead she passes the star over to Duchess of Hazard, the pivot. A nice star pass there, allowing the initial pass to be completed. And if Ace's track awareness is as good as the Notorious VICs has been, she will call off that jam as both scores. For, uh, both jammers remain scoreless on that one. Donuts for all. We don't have a six pack, we have a two pack. And uh, we are about to line up for our next jam. We have Wolfie up against Mad Pixie. And we have uh, just under nine minutes left of this period and this finals game the division one final the north side rollers death stars taking on the victorian roller derby league we'll notorious see. vic's as mad pixie picks up the lead at jam status there for the death stars wolfie re forced to re recycle and yield to the back of the pack still fighting hard for that initial pass mad pixie knocked down by a solid hit from Slappuccino and forced to yield. A bit of a swallow back, the Northside Rollers blocker is trying to follow back and contain, maybe even helping Mad Pixie as soon as she can. Bale, Wolfie, you know, Polish Impact and the wisely calls off the jam. There is one VIC's blocker in the in the box is... Just trying to make the... Uh, I think that's a, a one. Frankie, yes, it's Frankie, 925. I thought it was 725, but she's not, Frankie is not wearing armbands. She, they are wearing... It looks, like, it looks like tape. It looks like tape of the old uh, permanent texter. I, rem I remember the days of that. Oh, yes, I remember wearing the Sharpie. I, I usually say no to Sharpie unless I forget my armbands. Otherwise, one of my mates, Peter, would probably disapprove quite highly, I guess, must say. Anyways, we have a time out. It's just 7 minutes 32 seconds left in this period. Yes, we have an official uh, time out. 
And, and it was a quick one. Yeah, it's just a quick one. Only uh, 23 seconds there. Just a measly 23 Five seconds. Of more. We're, waiting, we're waiting for this to kick off as uh, we have 301 Fizz Gig lining up against Roxy, Roxy Horror. Horror. Whoa, a big slip over there from Roxy Horror is go possibly going to cost that notorious VICs as Fizzy kicks up the lead at Janus status for the Death Stars. Roxy Horror not phased, it seems, and breaks on out for the initial pass. Gabby Love making making a break for at the front of the pack with her mate Hellfire. Miss Marie almost collecting there. Fizzy Jig? Fizz Gig. Oh, we're still interchanging it. Sorry, apologies for that, folks. We'll get it right sometime. If not at this tournament, the next one or the next one after that. Points have been. Jam has been called. There's a little bit of deliberation there with the ref crew. Malice has her fist up. There's zero, no fingers or thumbs pointing. We do have two by Two points, screen. yes, for the yes. Death Stars to 189. Um, plays at 78. As the saying goes, doubt means don't. Don't call it if you don't know for sure. Anyway, Wolfie jamming for the notorious VIC is shuffling here, there, and everywhere, trying to make that hole. Meanwhile, Venus Vice Slap recycled to the back of the pack. There's like oh. one more blocker left that is actually holding back Wolfie. It was a no pass, no penalty, and therefore she does not get lead status. It can still be attained by Venus Vice Slap. It's just a matter of getting past those four notorious blockers and that is not an easy feat in itself getting through that notorious triangle a little bit of offense provided by looks like number 52 yes Gabby Love. Gabby Love giving a little bit of assistance there trying to help Orphy pick up as many points as possible because a uh, smart jammer in uh, Venus thigh slap will more than likely call that jam off the second Actually, oh, uh, they are awarded the lead jammer status. Correction, she and um, Wolfie has been given lead jammer oh, status. Yes, My mistake. No, ma having made it through that second time, I believe is now awarded it. That would be. That could be right. Uh, we will confirm those rules with a ref later on. But it does seem that uh, Wolfie is being pointed at, told that Wolfie is special, and will call off the jam whenever Wolfie wants to. We uh, have Wolfie trying to pirouette on those toe stops and, and comes crashing to the floor. But um, that is Susie sus Spender. Suspender. Suspender has just realised that there was a low block that ba that Wolfie uh, did in fact trip over the trip over her skates. Therefore, three seconds in the box. Meanwhile, we do have some assimilation over the front. Wolfie has scored another five points. And we do have Kadachi problem now, the jammer for Northside Rollers. A little bit of an attempt of blocking by 506, which is uh, Betty, Betty Doom. Doom. Betty Doom. Some nice blocking there as uh, the Notorious VICs pick up a 19 point jam there for Wolfie. That is what they needed. Uh, they're only three points away now from cracking that century. Uh, the uh, North Side Rollers Death Stars are only seven away from the double, though. It's only a 104-point difference as well. So at least if they've got that four points, they can at least make it even I've remembered seven. to turn the mic on this time. Oh, yes, we have Ninja featuring here. So she's just going to go into the fray that is the, the ref huddle and see what's going on with this official review. Yes, uh, Ninja will be ready to give us all of the details any second now. So there was a rule change a little while ago. Previously, um, teams were using their official reviews as a substitute timeout. Um, and they used to make something up to use that official review. And sometimes it was funny, sometimes it was just random. They changed the rules so now you can just use it as a timeout and not make anything up. So that's what's happened. Right. Thank you very much for that update, Ninja. Well, that, that makes... That's it. I got nothing funny. Nothing uh, funny at all. We'll just let that brew for a few more moments. There is just nothing. under... There's just over four minutes left in this game, but, but it's still like plenty of time. Mic. It's nice and soft and fluffy. <laughs> very comfortable. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is... Uh, uh, ni that it comes over here. Yes, uh, Ninja, I think, uh, forgetting that... Uh, doesn't have the headphones to uh, keep in touch with us and uh, realising yes. all, all of those comments come through the stream, but we're having a uh, blast anyway commentating here. 
Um, oh, I see myself on the stream just And there. I see myself as well. That was a nice shot there, Jess. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, we do have Annie Hackberg re returning as a gemmer for the Toys VIC. He's been plowing through the tripod wall. Meanwhile, we do have Bella Bomber being sent off for a track cut. Oh, that turns this into a power jam for Annie Hackberg. And he is going to want to try and get a few more points on the board. And getting that lead jammer status is the perfect way to do it. Flying around that apex corner, just trying to pick up speed and try and take full advantage of the 30 seconds without another jammer on the track. We do have a straggler, we do have a straggling northside blocker that is being goated by the tripod at the back by the VICs. And that's very smart play there by the notorious VICs as Annie Hagberg picks up a five point pass there and takes the total into that triple digits 102. Let's so, see if Addy can pick up any more points as uh, Bella Bomber comes skating out of that penalty box. Suspender number 11 for Nussabrol is hanging back, trying to make a little bit of a clearance for her block, for her jammer. Oh, Meanwhile, nice toast up work there by Addy Hagberg sees another five points put high in the air by Malice. Bella has made her break for it. The cover is back on her helmet, and she has got the opportunity to score points if she does, does so. And this very, they've been called. There is, the jam has been called. Four points picked up there by the Death Stars, and uh, two from the uh, notorious VICs. Uh, Twelve points there for the uh, notorious VICs in that jam. And uh, now it is the uh, Death Stars only three points away from the double century. Let's see if. Roxy Horror will take the lead jam and keep chipping away at those point differences or will it be Mad Pixie getting the Death Stars into the double century 200. This is the second game I've called for the Notorious VICs and I've, I've noticed that how twitchy and also how reflexive Roxy Horror is but that lead jam status has been denied for Roxy. Mad Pixie has got that honour. Meanwhile Roxy has taken the star of her helmet and is being blocked by Akar Armov. It has been transferred to Slapuccino, the pivot. Oh, some nice toe stop jumping there. 506. Staying on the feet, Mad Pixie picks up a four point pass there and calls off the jam. That four points does send the North Sydney Rollers Death Stars into 200 territory. 201 plays at 90, 109. 109. Getting close. We are just over 100, 1 minute and 20 seconds into the, this last half. There could be one, there may be one, there may be two more jams in this competition. If we're lucky, I think if we're we'll lucky. get the two. We, we, we want to see some great derby. This has been a fantastic game here, the Division 1 Grand Final, and I don't want it to end in just one jam. Can we do this be Rebellion every weekend? Uh, it could be fun, it could be fun. It could be. We've got Fizzjig and she is lead jammer for this potentially the last jam of the competition. And meanwhile, Wolfie is just over to the front of the pack. She scrambles through. We've got a little bit of defense here. Oh, this Some is a very furious and fun Duchess pack. of Hazard trying to give her a little bit of party. Meanwhile, it gets a forearm penalty for trying to hold back Wolfie unsuccessfully. Wolfie did send uh, Dukes of Hazard crashing to the floor there as Duchess well. Duchess of Hazard. Duchess of Hazard. Du uh, Duchess. Duchess. Duchess of Hazard, yes, uh, referencing the Dukes of Hazard. Miss Reed oh. tries to slide over and try and block over Wolfie and her three other offside blockers trying to contain Wolfie at the front. Meanwhile, there is a bit of a scatter Oh, that is <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a giggle there by Fistjig trying to try to compose herself and, and being recycled to the back of the pack yes. by. Oh, I think that that has, does. It could be it. Um, have it, they, they, did one they, one, will they? they no, no, they will not. not. No one will call the timeout. So that is done and dusted. Uh, we are just waiting on the uh, official final score waiting for that rolling whistle to tell us we can confirm this but it looks like the death stars have taken out the victory 205 to 113 a well fought battle by both teams there on that track yes indeed we've got to say there was definitely a rumble of the rumble of the floor of the skates of just so i can actually hear the vibrations from here but we can say that Northside have taken out Division 1 and 2 of Rebellion 2017. Yes, the hosting league taking out both divisions. That's 
I, I think they're going to be very happy with that one. Oh, that'll be quite satisfying. And there it is. It is official. official. We have a final, final score. 205 plays, 113. Um, we are about to go handheld roving camera. Courtesy of Jess from JAE Productions. And it looks like coming around first and uh, winning tonight on 205 points, we have the Northside Rollers, Death Stars, Duchess of Hazard, Suspender, Daywalker, Fizzgig, Catitude Problem, Misery, Sunny Onslaught, Bella Bomba, Smackrobat, Mad Pixie, Akaramov, Missy Bowler, Venus Thigh Slap. Accompanied on the bench by Cinnamon Whip and Gingerbread Slam. And as the as the Northside Rollers go by, the um, the, de the Imperial March is played. And let's just give a shout out to the Notorious VRCs from Victorian Roller Derby League, Modern Warfare, Annie Hagberg, Ace Inhibitor, Frankie, Guillotina, Bonaparte, Beowulf, aka Wolfie, Golden Sleigh Time, Roxy Horror, Gabby Love, Betty Doom, Hellfire, Amy Pascoe, Genevieve Monk, Slappuccino, accompanied on the bench by Bonnie, Kitty and Crushy. That's all, folks. Yes. That's done and dusted. It's We've had a fantastic rebellion here uh, for 2017. We can't wait to bring you more fantastic Australian roller derby uh, next year. I believe we still have uh, men's nationals in the Coffs Harbour next weekend. At time of recording is over, and um, we have got the Australian men's roller derby nationals. That is right. It's over on the coast, is it? It's, it's up coast? on Coffs Harbour. Coffs um, Harbour. Yeah, up so uh, sunny New South Wales. I'm a uh, Back, back my my old uh, uh, area of the woods. Ground. It's your um, back in back your neck in the woods. Last year in 2016, it was in my neck of the woods in Adelaide. Yes, a, it has been a fantastic year for Australian roller derby. Indeed, and it has. A great way to cap it off here with the Division One final. The Death Stars taking it out, 205 to the notorious VICs, 113. Oh. Alrighty then. So it's been a pleasure to be calling this game. I'm Sia Hello from ADID, and this guy to my l is actually the Sledge. And what league are you from? I am the Sledge. I am here representing the wonderful uh, Kingston City Rollers, KCR. All right, we're all done. We're all done. Well, we're just going to drop the mics and see you around on the flip side, folks. Catch you next time. Players, officials, derby fans, refs. Everybody, thank you. Come close. Before we get underway, we do have a raffle to draw. I can't draw it, I bought tickets. So JR's just going to grab one of these tickets and pull it out. And it is orange ticket E12. Jane, orange ticket E12. Excellent, beautiful, and well done. Okay, folks, it's time to get on with the business of what we're here for. Thank you very much for coming to Rebellion 2017. The first time we've been down here in the big smoke in Melbourne, and the tournament has been brought to you by Skate Victoria, thanks to Samurai AV, JAE Productions, been helping us out with some production and audio gear as well. Uh, I've got a list of people to say thank you to here. Uh, thanks to Medical Edge, providing some medical support for us here for the weekend. Thanks to all the photographers, Paul Pye, everybody else taking photos. All those photos will, will be available in some form or another. Keep an eye out for where they're available. Thanks to my commentating team. You've done a fantastic job this weekend. Those finals games, the two grand final games, will be uploaded to YouTube. You'll be able to watch those back at some stage. Massive thank you to our host league, Melbourne Northside Rollers. Thank you, officials, 
Let's have some love for the officials, guys. All of the non-skating officials and skating officials making all the derby safe, rules worthy, and in line. And a big, oh, heard he wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who helped with the stats as well. Stall holders, you guys were great. It's great to have you guys here. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Tipsy. Thanks, Hurdy. Thanks, Bama. In case you missed it, Rebecca Taylor or Alabama Hurley won a Women in Sport Award from the Victorian Government just last week. Bama, yeah. should we do some presentations? Yeah. Alright, we're going to start with Division 2. Woo! Division 2, third place getters in this tournament. Brisbane City Rollers, Nasty Nancy. We have the whole team, we've got ribbons. Everybody come on up. Hawkeye's ready to take the photos. Thanks so much, Nasty Nancy, for making the trip. It's a long way. Second place in Division 2 in Rebellion 2017, Westside Derby Dolls, Westside Glory! Division 1, Canberra Roller Derby League of Vice City Rollers, Beta Max. Victorian Roller Derby League and Notorious VIC.
And folks, your rebellion in 2017 Division One champions, Melbourne Northside Rollers, Death Stars. <laughs> Once again, folks, thank you so much for coming to Rebellion 2017. All of the players, the benches, the volunteers, the helpers, skaters, Eltham, setting up shop, all of our vendors. Thank you. Keep your eyes and ears open. And look in your inboxes for Rebellion 2018. And that's it for Rebellion 2017 from here at the Sports Stadium. Now it continues, and welcome to Thornbury for the after party. I'm done.